Good morning, everyone. This is the first video of our live coverage of the winter storm for February 13th, 2024. It's a Tuesday morning, and this looks like a significant storm, especially because of its timing, moving through at the heart of rush hour. And, um, the observations I'm seeing right now have me a bit concerned. So let's dive right into the data. We'll have updates every hour on the hour as the data comes in, as the observations come in. So let's take a look at what we have here. Now, the boundary layer is a little bit colder than what I was expecting when I woke up at 4 a.m. Uh, it is now almost 4.30 a.m. And you can see the setup here taking place here with our snow developing over the north and the reports coming in and great job by everyone on X providing details and also on the um, Discord that we have and YNJPA weather Discord uh, of the observations. And what we're seeing here is that our rain snow line is already crashing pretty close to the coast. We're getting reports of snow showing up even in New York City, uh, Newark, where our visibility falling to already around a mile and a half. Uh, down to a mile, half a mile uh, here. Let's see, where are we? In Pottsville and Schuylkill City, uh, we have very heavy snow already reported about 10 minutes ago, and temperatures are below freezing in these areas. And what we're seeing also is the intensification of this precipitation. Now, I want to show you the weather tap radar here. Here's our uh, surface reflection here at our frontal boundaries. This is with the snow mask on. You can see the expansion of our snow starting to develop here. So cold air is now working into the system. But I'm going to take off the winter mask. And I'm going to show you why I am concerned here with the new data coming up. And you see this. This right here is not bright banding. This is the intensity of the precipitation that we're dealing with here. That is getting ready to pivot and shift towards portions of the I-95 corridor. And it's evolving in such a way that has me concerned because of the lifting parameters that we're, that we're starting to see here in the observations. We, we could throw away the models now. Now we actually have the storm here. And what we have showing up here is very heavy precipitation rates that are capable of rapidly cooling the atmosphere, especially the boundary layer where basically you and I live, okay, the, the surface. And that's what's key here in order to support snow accumulation. So again, we're not incredibly warm anymore uh, from I-95 corridor right around the mid 30s. So the cooling needed is not as great as let's say if we were starting off this whole event in the mid 40s, as it was suspected a couple of days ago. So we have a slightly colder environment. We have the heavy precipitation. There's our 850 millibar low, very well organized. And notice our polar air mass is closer now. And you can see the 850 millibar uh, projections here uh, starting to crash towards the coast here. The freezing line is crashing towards the coast. So let's take a look at some of the SPC data. Now, this is at 850 millibars. This is our 850 millibar low. It is tracking towards the Delmarva. As this low pressure system gets towards the Delmarva coast, which is right here, this freezing line will continue to sink south. And that's where our rain snow line is going to start to take place and start to move. At 9 to 25 millibars, it's even more aggressive. Look at that drop south. This is very important because... This is why we're starting to see in locations like northern Monmouth County uh, in central New Jersey, where we're starting to see sleet mixing in at times now because that colder air is starting to move in and you're getting stronger lifting. Boom, it hits uh, that uh, column of air, it cools it, and as a result, we get that mix. So the next step is that that mix changes over to sleet and snow. And that's what we're starting to see with this 925 millibar low. And 700 millibars, this is important because I want to position this a little bit further south for this one. Okay. So the 700 millibar low is very important because this tells us where our rain, uh, where our dry slot is going to set up. And this 700 millibar low is 
developing a little bit further to the south and it's really well developed around west virginia and this is why this is important as this feature tracks towards the delmarva peninsula here this dry slot gets cut off to basically around cape may and then gets pushed out that means your most intense lifting is all focused here now, what about that intense lifting? Well, let's pull up the Phronogenesis at 700 millibars. And you can see that it's starting to take shape very nicely. Let's shift back to the Northeast look. This is what we were concerned about. 700 millibars, you can see that Phronogenesis setting up very nicely. And as this continues to intensify it's going to enhance the lifting and drop down towards the jersey shore at 850 millibars you see that front is setting up right on the i-95 corridor enhancing the lifting remember where i was showing that intense precipitation right here and then we go back to our lifting here it all lines up and then at 925 millibars additional strong front genesis so basically if you combine everything you basically have strong intense lifting throughout the entire northern mid-atlantic combine that let's see what our deformation looks like and you can see that's lining up right over the northern mid-atlantic so you have all the cooling factors to set up with plenty of moisture being transported in Let's take a look at our moisture transport here at 850 millibars. You can see that is being supported. And our snow, let's see, our freezing line is steadily dropping towards the coast. So we have the environment that's set up. We have the strong short wave. There's our cap as far as how far north this storm can get. The trough here, notice the trough here is supporting more of a negative tilt so you're getting strong divergence and diffluence aloft all the lifting associated with the storms here on the infrared satellite picture you see the strong intensification here strong lifting all setting up over the northern mid-atlantic and the same thing on the water vapor satellite picture textbook setup for a low pressure system that's basically tracking due east and the most intense lifting moving right over the northern mid-atlantic and so what you end up with is the setup that we're seeing here with the hrr where this is very intense snowfall in near visible vis near zero visibility swinging right through making for a very rough morning rush hour so look if you don't have to travel this morning i would say not but if you do have to take some extra time take some precaution and use caution uh, don't drive quickly. Take some time because this is a significant storm. So that's where we are right now with the evolution of the storm. This is the expectation again uh, in the purple zone right here. This is where we're expecting 8 to 12 inches of snow. Uh, this zone right here, 4 to 8 inches of snow. Allentown, 4 to 8 inches of snow. Difference between these two areas has been the confidence level. Far more confident here of that four to eight inches than here, four to eight inches, two to four inches in much of Monmouth County. There has been some suggestion that we could go over four inches. Stayed away from that for right now, but there's a possibility here we could see some overperformance here between Philadelphia and New York City with this storm. So we'll see how that plays out as we move forward making for a very rough morning rush hour. So I'll continue to have updates on the hour. Uh, basically, the next one's probably going to be out around 5.15. In the meantime, stay safe out there.